hello everyone, my name is Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library and welcome to today's video which is my August bullet journal. So first off, I am starting by lighting the candle as I always do to kind of set the mood and the ambiance. It's my aloe and bergamot candle. So the theme of this month's spread is going to be ice cream. I thought it'd be really cute to start off with a little ice cream stand. I think this turned out really well. Um, it could have been a little neater. I'm just not an artist or a very neat person when it comes to artwork or drawings or anything like that. Uh, but I did my best and I think it turned out okay overall. Um, this little lopsided, but what can you do? So then I had my calendar spread, which I always have right at the beginning. This is where I can put book releases and bookish YouTube events, various things like that. Um, and I just wanted to make it colorful. I didn't put a lot of design into it, but the colors are there and that's really what makes me happy when I flip through my journal. Next up is my TBR spread again as usual and this time I decided to do a little ice cream cone, one scoop for most of them for all of my TBRs. So the top is my physical, then audio, and then on the bottom is my seasonal. That's how I'm dividing my TBR for the rest of the year. Then, of course, on the next page is my book spread spread, and this is just going to be a double stick popsicle because I thought that was fairly unique, and I will be organizing my book spread a little differently within this popsicle, but I had already had books that I needed to complete. Then I have my combined page of rankings and books that I'm going to be buying this month. So this is where I can keep track of the my favorite three books of the month and my least favorite book of the month to help make it easier to make a decision in the end. And then I have a book budget which I will talk about in a book haul coming up. And this is how I figure out how to use my budget for the month wisely. Then we start getting into my social media spread. So my first stop is YouTube and I am really excited that this time I'm actually going to do what's in the YouTube spread and I'm actually going to film these videos and plan for them and everything again. And then I'm keeping my system for Instagram the same of keeping track of what new books I've read versus um, some older books that I've read that I still need to post my reviews on Instagram for. Again, not very decorative, but the Twitter and TikTok page is a little more decorative with just various styles of ice cream cone uh, just to make the plain space a little less plain, but that's how I like to brainstorm for both of these social medias. So now we can do a flip through of the final spread. I think the idea behind this spread was very fun, but I definitely think it could have been executed a little bit better. Again, I am not an artist, so some of this is lopsided and some of it isn't super creative, but I'm fairly happy with how it turned out. Of course, I've got some favorite spreads and some least favorite spreads in here, and I think if I were to do it over again, I would plan it a little bit differently. But I also thought it would be a very fitting theme for the end of summer, as it's still fairly hot, and I wanted ice cream a lot that month, so it made sense. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. I will be posting videos on Sundays and Wednesdays again. I have bookish social media down below. But until I see you all in the next one, I wish you happy reading.